Welcome back to Punisher. <laughs> Today we are going to go back to Castle's apartment for some of Jones' cookies. Oh, Punisher has a soft side. Soft baked. I recommend the Snickerdoodles. <laughs> <laughs> Snickerdoodles are okay. You just, want to, you just turn them into salt snake. The Black Widow hit the Russians hard. Giggity. With bullets. Black Widow is now, Frank? No, I hit the Russians <laughs> hard. Black Widow <laughs> flipped them over and <laughs> shot them in the face. You wiped out the Russian facilities on the docks, including a tank they'd somehow smuggled past Homeland Security. That, you know, that's kind of that's kind of like saying, how, do, how are we going to explain this plot hole? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they hid it behind a bush. <laughs> <laughs> Never saw it coming. <laughs> Krakow? Yeah. Here's one nasty customer. I love that liquor. It does sound like a liquor. That's smearing off, Frank. <laughs> well, I was going to say nasty customers of liquor. Either way, I'm drunk. <laughs> now, right now. Christ, drunk. a drunk punisher. For dr- Holy shit. For justice. <laughs> At the end of the day, no, I meant just ice. Just ice. <laughs> I don't remember names. I'm good with bodies, though. I always drink Smirnoff on the rocks. Just ice. <laughs> Just rocks. Yeah, just, no smear yeah, just, just rocks. <laughs> let, me, let me get ice on the rocks. <laughs> so you want a glass of ice? Yes. What part of that was unclear? I'm Frank Castle. I will go to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were joking. Ooh. What? <laughs> did, you do what? Not, did you not just see, read the uh, little text down there? Oh, the what Russian. What the fuck? One batch or two batch. Oh, I got hit by a strong Waldo. <laughs> One batch, two batch. Strong arm Waldo. Done. The, uh, the Russian. The Russian. Just. Uh, you must be of the peppermint flavor variety. Uh, <laughs> are you German? <laughs> Yeah, that's, the, that's <laughs> actually based on what we were just talking about. Uh, that's a white Russian. You have yeah. a nightstick. <laughs> yeah, you have a meat cleaver. Shit, that did nothing. That didn't I do threw anything. It, that's why. <laughs> it's like he has a headache. That did nothing. That's because I threw it. <laughs> so what's that? What is he doing? Oh, red smashing. <laughs> there was nowhere near you. Is he a robot? This is like this is like Kirk versus the Gorn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Carl's gonna target him. Oh dear. What is he doing? He's the most asinine AI goon I've ever seen in my life. He just pants to kick him in the ass. Am I interested in the cold beer? No. So here's a question How is he paying for his apartment? Bodies. Yeah, I don't, he doesn't really seem to have a day Ouch. job. Jesus Christ. Wow. What is it, plywood? <laughs> <laughs> Hold there. Saves on insulation. Uh, it's just, it's sheetrock. Throw it at his nuts. No, no, no. Oh, just, see, okay. So it was taking some health. Oh. It was doing something. I oh, should sure confirm fuck. PC gamer. Here's three monitors. Ah, damn <laughs> yeah, it. Look at that. Look at that setup. But look at the old monitor. Yeah, there's an old monitor. He still has three of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking Frank's reaction to, to this. Like, oh. I'm trying to play World of Warcraft at a resolution of 360p and above. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm trapped. I, I just wanted to play Diablo. What do you need three screens? I like flight sims. Why does he do that? Every time he does the ground pound, the shockwave, he gets like... He, I'm kind of stuck in the bathroom. He's taunting you. He's like, he, he's uh, not doing anything. I'm stuck. Uh, oh, he, there he is. Oh, he seemed to respect the fact that you were in the bathroom. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> I can't move. Dude. Hey, what do you mean you can't move? You have plenty of room around him. You can't punch and kick him? Like, There you go. Not even that. You have ah, plenty shit. of room around him. I thought he was locked in the corner. Trying to know how this fucking goes. Ow. <laughs> Your file sharing days with Kazaa is over, Punisher. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to collect. <laughs> I'm from Napster. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he does a shockwave, he rubs his eyes like that takes a lot out of him, and then he. Oh no! Not my good no, setup. Not the. the but, but steam. Gaben will be displeased. Check out the summer sale. <laughs> now the winter sale, and now the whatever is between winter and summer. <laughs> oh dear! Spring sale. Nah, Compare at the full price. Damn. Gaben will be displeased. Oh dear! Told you I like pigs. Ow! I always enjoyed. Pigs. I hope this. Is, you we gotta know, hurry up. I'm running out of walls. <laughs> okay, so this is clearly there's a second bathroom. So this is not just Frank's place. Uh, that's no, getting so he has up. two bathrooms. Yeah, see that's not quite narrow. Navigate around that, so we're gonna need another hit. Oh, zone. right there. So no. that's how you probably have to use yep, those. Yeah, you just gotta. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. 
Dude, the fact that a shockwave from him like makes Frank stagger that way means this guy can't be human. He's not. He's like superhuman. Or at least superhuman strength. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> and that was boring. Won't even let you finish it. Takes me back to Frank's cable guy days. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. That's a professional video monitor. You that get high quality on one of those. <laughs> He'll survive. Does for Dunya. Bless you. Damn. He was alive. By a Condio Brando. <laughs> That's not good. No shit. <laughs> You thought I was speaking Russian, but it was me, Spanish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was literally it? That's it. Wow. Yeah, I got my first silver medal. It's no wonder he doesn't go back to Honestly, the Honestly, I'm surprised someone didn't like try to invade Frank's apartment earlier. With all the shit we've been causing. Yeah, seriously. Like, I, I guess we just haven't been paying enough attention. But we hit why do they just know, right. Why do they know where his apartment is now and not before? Or did they just not care before because he wasn't messing with them until now? Or oh, for God's sake, he has an eHarmony page. <laughs> <laughs> or J Date. <laughs> so now yeah. we're off to stop a nuke, change weapons a bit. That's right. We were interrogating people on that boat. Flamethrower. Uh, flame I thought the nuke would be inside the boat. And I thought we'd taken care of it already, but uh, apparently no. not. It's, it's never over. Someone's planning on using a nuke. Nuke. Yeah, you kind of forget that there's a storyline. How going stereotypical, on. the Russians with the nukes. <laughs> Remember the Alamo, comrade. The cold. Shut up, man. The that's, Alamo. That's Mexico, you fucking <laughs> did. No, that was a Red Alert South 3 <laughs> reference. In a dark alley. You might, though, someday, Frank. Krikov sent the Russian after you, so you decide to settle with Krikov. Well, I mean, let's be honest. When a guy delivers a big Hulk in Russia to your door, that's kind of personal between a couple of fellows. <laughs> Call him the nuke. Hulking. <laughs> Well, you found someone. Then you I wonder if his number hours. FC seven eight six is something like, friend. like a reference. Yeah, FC would be Frank Castle. Yeah, so I wonder the if numbers. the seven eight six is that's the numbers are most likely a reference no, to something. Reference. He was born in July of eighty six. Yeah, or maybe Punisher. that was his uh, debut. No, no, I think he was way older than that. Punisher? Yeah, yeah, I think so. What the fuck? Are we getting a flashback? No. Oh. What the well, fuck? Well, technically, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say. The, um, this game is sort of in Medias Res, I think. What is with that guy? Still, but he's got the face paint like Preacher. What's with that guy? Dead meat because he has a low polygon model. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't animate him enough so you yeah. know he's done. You can tell he's going to die. So the you, you leave Guy alone. <laughs> <laughs> so the Russian from The Punisher is in Earth 616. That's the standard Marvel storyline. Yeah. So. Oh, so his, his character name is The Russian. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ellie, what was Punisher's debut in the comic? In, in the comics? Yeah. yeah. What, what was Par Marvel's uh, Punisher's debut in the Marvel? Let me check. 1932? No, it was no, going to be. It no. was. 1944? It would have been after the comics code. Yeah. Because without, when they first established the comics code, it turned into a whole big giant mess. Can you imagine Punisher during the comics code era? Oh, my God. <laughs> he doesn't kill you. He just gives you nuggies. Well, that's what happened with <laughs> like Batman. Like our Punisher? Yeah. That's why Batman started to get really silly because yeah. he couldn't be really violent. That's the whole reason for the Silver Age. Yeah. When, when did we get to the MGS3? Oh, I got a rifle. Okay. Oh, we're fighting the end? Was, uh, um, his first appearance uh, was in the Amazing Spider-Man um, yeah. issue 129 in February of 1974. 74, yeah, so yeah, so it would have been after the silliest phases, some of the silliest phases. That is the Bronze Age of comics, I think. Uh, that around, around there is the Bronze Age, uh, and then you have, or Silver Age. No, Silver Age is in the 60s. Silver Age. Uh, Silver Age is 50s and 60s. Yeah, and then they, I, I remember 80s stuff, like early 80s, I think, was the end of the Bronze Age, I think. Yeah. Starting with like comics like Dark Knight Returns it entered it stuff ended. like that, yeah. uh, Secret Wars. That was like uh, I think Crisis that was on towards Infinite Earths. Yeah, I think that was the first Crisis on Infinite Earth. That was never read the that. Edge. I only it's, know of it. Yeah, I, I know Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, was. I think that was an attempt at them to sort of converge a lot of the different. Yeah, it was their, their, they do that they're wiping out the multiverse. Yeah, because then they then they I thought they brought back Ooh, the multiverse at some right point. Off. Yeah. Then the recent convergence uh, had to rec reconcile a lot of that stuff. Like it's it's a mess. I'm getting it, it's, I have 
I have a hard time getting into comic books really because of that. It's a fact. pain in the ass when you're a long time comic book reader who has to deal with that sort of thing. Yeah. Where you get into it's, it's a, and honestly kind of the reason why I stopped reading the new 52 Batman stuff. Because I knew ahead of time, after a certain point, that they were resetting everything. Again. They're gonna, yeah, they're yeah. gonna reset DC everything. Jeez. Yeah, you know they, but then it, it, they do it all the time. I mean, I was just watching a thing where they were talking about like all the old man Logan storyline in Marvel. Yeah, and then at some point, somebody wrote something else that basically negated what happened in the old man Mar- in the old man Logan run. So it's just kind of like you, you keep reading these things, uh. and then a week later, they're telling you that it doesn't work anymore. Uh, ben 10 went through a similar thing in cartoons, so to speak. Basically, what happened was, is after Ultimate Alien and whatnot, apparently the backlash was a bit much, it seemed. I, I personally liked it. I don't... I did Ben 10 part. have, like, a strong myth arc and stuff like it that? It did in the original one, where it was just basically, Kid had 10 different aliens, and he had to be really creative with how it worked. I liked the first series, too, more so than the second, but the second one had its own strengths. Okay. Then it comes to writer three for Omniverse, who then decided to throw out everything Ben 10 Ultimate Alien did with really stupid ass explanations. So it's like basically him saying, fuck you, this never happened. La, 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 la. Yeah, nano see, machines, son. Nano machines. <laughs> How the fuck did he retcon some shit with some of the dumbest writing I've ever fucking witnessed outside yeah, of Sonic and, 6? And then it kind of makes it pointless because even if they try and fix it, you get into the mindset of, well, they're trying to fix it now, but then they're just going to change it again later. So what's even the point? You know, right. it, it gets difficult to to. That's why comic books, especially, like, you, you could a, a month later they'll change it. A different writer will take over, and it'll be different. You know, we talked about the pun, the, the uh, Ghost Rider, yeah, where he looks different and he drives a car instead of a motorcycle, and that's really that could very easily be happening because for that particular time there's a different artist and he wants to draw it differently and he wants to make it look different, and then the next time somebody else takes over. It'll just go back to the way it was. It's just and a, I just it, wasted the last year of it's, reading. It's literally just a cycle. Yeah, that's why. It's, I, I need some more. I need stronger continuity. Which is hard to get in, yeah. in nowadays in comic books. Especially with the cinematic universe being so prevalent. Because that's the preferred way people... You know, And I'll gladly admit, that's my method too. Like, if yeah. I'd rather watch Marvel movies than read a Marvel comic. I don't read Marvel comic books. Like, I am more of a DC reader, even though I barely touch DC myself. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't touch Marvel comic books. I'd rather watch Marvel movies because I enjoy Marvel as cinema. You know, as yeah, movies. yeah. They're, they're doing a good enough they're job. They're much easier to absorb as yeah. films. I think it depends on who, who's, the, who's the character. But I, but I am more likely to watch a film based off of them yeah. rather than read a comic book. Because yeah. until 2008's Iron Man, never read a single Iron Man comic. Until I watched that, that movie made me an Iron Man fan. Yeah. But even then, even today, I will still watch an Iron Man movie before reading an Iron Man comic book. I have dabbled in a few of them. Like, I've read Extremis. Yeah. Uh, but uh, besides that, I don't, I don't go out of my way to read the other uh, critically acclaimed ones like Demon in a Bottle or... Uh, uh, There's another one I can... It's on the top of my head or anymore. But the fact of the matter is, I, I'm more prone to watching a Marvel movie yeah. than reading a comic book, which is why I'm... Uh, I'm looking forward to actually uh, Doctor Strange coming yeah. out. Oh yeah, you know, see, you know, every time I hear that, I think the Batman villain. That's Hugo Strange. I Hugo know. Strange. Every time I hear it, I think <laughs> Doctor Hugo. Well, Strange. He went and got his degree. <laughs> He's totally different, Matt. That's see? a Professor Strange. <laughs> 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 that is a PhD, no, I I get not that. a doctorate. You are not the only one, Matt. Yeah, it's it's. You know what it is? It's a time thing because you know comic books are you know they're biweekly or they're monthly. And in order to get through a long story arc, you have to commit six months to a year of your life, it seems, depending on which book you're reading. A movie I can watch for two and a half hours, and if I don't like it, that's two and a half hours out of my life. It's fine. But to commit so much time to then realize, A, by the end, ah, you're not really enjoying it, or B, it didn't even matter because when the next book came out, they erased a lot of that history. It's kind of irritating. It's a, a... this is discouraging. Like, it's very discouraging to get into it. On the other hand, this is a very nice backdrop. Like um, I've been oh, fo- yeah, I like that. I've been following up. The on background it. could be better. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Ellie, but the background could be the way background better. Could be way better than oh, that. Yeah. It's fucking JPEG it's, forest. It's, <laughs> it's nice if you this don't pay be, attention this, to this it. Must be, must be a list of JPEG forest. <laughs> but hey, what were you saying? Ellie? 